California and Jeff Brantley, the ace of the pen. Being a pitcher, the problem that you have is the repetitive motion on one side of your body over and over and over. It basically just wears you out. I had the first shoulder surgery in 97. I had a second surgery in 99. It was downhill from there. I was at home during the middle of the season, reached into my refrigerator to get some milk for my son. My shoulder pinched and it made me drop the milk, exploded on the floor. My son's sitting right there. And he goes, oh, daddy, are you all right? He walked in, he sat down, he said, hey, doc, what are we gonna do? We gotta do something. He basically just asked me, he said, why do you wanna have this surgery? I don't wanna be able to throw the ball 90. I wanna be able to play catch with my son. He had a unique shoulder. He had 12 metal anchors in his glenoid that were from the 90s. He had intact rotator cuff, very bad arthritis, and he had a deformity to his shoulder where he wore bone away. We began to talk about a shoulder replacement. When you look at joint replacement, it's usually the last resort. It scares people, and it scared me. I mean, let's face it, I'd had two shoulder surgeries. I mean, there's only so much they can do. I was definitely nervous. Blueprint Mixed Reality is the next level of preoperative planning. The Blueprint preoperative planning was something that opened our eyes to what we needed to understand. And then the next challenge is how do you take your plan from the computer to the patient in real life? With the Mixed Reality, we wear a HoloLens and we can then see what our plan was and we can see it in real time in front of our faces when we operate. This is dynamic and so you can see that patient's anatomy in a lot of detail and your plan for your procedure when you want to see it. What was interesting the first day that I used it was that it didn't interfere with my surgery or distract me. Those were fears that I had. That first day we did two cases back to back and I had the HoloLens on for both cases start to finish and I was pleasantly surprised that it didn't impact my ability to do the operation the way I normally would do it, it enhanced my ability to do the operation. That makes me really happy with what I do and um, I suppose, uh, yeah, there's, there's some pride in that. So for Jeff, what the software did for me, it gave me a couple plans. Interoperative, we had to change the position of the socket. We had to go from a stemless implant to a short stem implant. But we were able to pull that up on the plan intraoperatively and, and see where the implant would sit. And so it helped us a ton for him, and I think it ensured a better outcome for him. When I was going through the rehab, it was a little scary because I couldn't really move my arm real well. After about two weeks, I was like, hmm, I'm moving my arm pretty good. And then, here, here's the greatest part of this whole thing. When you can move your shoulder up and down and back and forth and it slides through there like smooth as silk, even though I still had another three or four months of rehab, that original pain was gone. The first time being able to go out and throw with, with my son, you know, there's a little trepidation there because you're not really sure and the first couple throws were real short and I thought, ha, boom and just snapped one. He was like, oh, daddy, you got it, you got it. That, that's, just a, that's just a great feeling. I'll tell you what, it, it makes me feel so good to see you throwing a baseball. That makes my day. God, it makes my year. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate right. it, bye.